how to find the surface area of a cone. Let's go ahead and start out by writing out the equation, which is the area of the base, which is the bottom circle, times the lateral surface area. The lateral surface area, recall, is the area of this, the side, I guess you could say, the surrounding part of the cone. Okay, so that gives us pi r squared plus pi times the radius times L. What What is L? L is the slant height here. Unfortunately, in this problem, we are not given the slant height. We are given H. So what the values we have now, we can't solve our problem. We need to find out the slant height. But recall that the height and the radius are perpendicular to each other. So if you can see, we have a right triangle. And since we know two sides of the right triangle, we can in fact find the slant height using the good old Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute 7 for our radius. And then I'll stop here and calculate the slant height using the Pythagorean theorem. OK, so 7 is the a squared. The 24 is going to be the b squared. And this is the c squared. Remember, the long side, the slanted side, or the side opposite of the right angle in the Pythagorean theorem is called the hypotenuse. And it's always the longest side, which is always going to be the C. OK, let's continue. We have 49 plus, I don't know, 24 squared, so I'm going to multiply it out. And I get 576. So I'll substitute it back over here. And I get 49 plus 576 equals C squared. Okay, if I add up 576 and 49, I get 625. So now 625 is C squared. Now this is a common square that you should memorize. But I guess if you didn't, you could use your calculator. And you'd find out that it is, in fact, 25. So now we know that our slant height, this length, which is the same as this, is 25. So let's go ahead and substitute it back over here for our slant height. Put 25 right there. And let's keep going now. So I get 49 pi plus, and I don't know, 7 times 25, so I'm going to multiply it out over here. And I get 175. So now I'm going to go back to my equation and substitute 175. So now I have 49 pi plus 175 pi. And we're almost done. Let's go ahead and add up 175 and 49 on the side. And that gives me 224. So I get 224 pi. Now remember, we have units because this is a area problem. So I get centimeters, and it is squared, not cubed. With surface area, it's always going to be squared. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the pi form, because the question is asking me to do so. Remember, if your teacher wants you to multiply it out, you just take this value right here, and you just multiply it by 3.14. And that completes our problem.